hello and welcome back to my channel um i went to the farmer's market in tucson today so i'm gonna show you everything that i got and probably try some stuff some of the stuff i don't even know what it tastes like so very excited i spent quite a bit of money but totally worth it everyone there was super duper nice so let's get into it greens I think I'm just missing home and Jonathan making me greens. So, greens. Alright, I have a bunch of stuff in my lap too. Um, this is my lunch. It's like a. It's like a. I don't remember what they're called, but they're Indian or Persian or something like that. Anyways. Uh, like a flat dough and then it has it spinach and feta in it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I also went to Barnes and Noble, which I'll just show those two things first because they have nothing to do with the breakfast market. And I definitely didn't need them, but I got this for a hotel book. I get all the underlined books, so for a hotel. I've also seen this one on Book Talk. And as old as time, which is a retelling of, um, or, yeah, a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Um, I have a couple of these, I haven't read any of them yet. I think I brought the house one and that one with me, but these are like $30, $40 in Michigan. This was 10 bucks, maybe. Yeah, this was $10, so I had to get this. I also love Barnes & Noble. I'm surprised I didn't get more, so. There's that. I'm gonna put this back actually. Alright. First things first. Bread that was freshly made at 4 o'clock this morning. So, it's a rosemary alva loaf. Um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted, but the guy talked to me and he's actually from Grand Rapids, so I thought that was kind of interesting. But I was like, I'm a bread lady too, and, but I'm from Michigan. And he was like, oh. Michigan? What part of Michigan? And, like, everybody does this. And, like, what part? Like, Traverse City, Cadillac area. He's like, oh, I'm from Grand Rapids. And I, he, I used to visit Traverse City all the time, so that was really cool. Uh, we stood there and talked about bread for a little bit. Showed him some of the loaves we make, and he said it was very beautiful, so. Um, but yeah, he had ciabatta, and there was so many things. And we should've got a cinnamon bun, because they look so good, and I didn't get one, but oh. I got a loaf of bread. So, I did just buy bread though, so. I think I bought like honey wheat though, so that's fine. Because this is savory. I got some chocolate chip cookies. Very exciting. I got some loose tea um, from this lavender place. It's a lavender Earl Grey, I do believe. But it smelled really good and I think it was like two dollars, so why not? So loose tea, I'll have to make when I get home because I don't have a teapot with me. Um, this is some jam. It's peach prickly pear. And I've never had prickly pear, but I've heard it's really good and obviously they make it, so um it's fresh and not poisonous because prickly pear pear pear. It did hit. Prickly pear plants can be poisonous. Or are poisonous? Something like that. I don't know. Okay. Um, I want to wait to do that one. So. I got some kimchi from some authentic people. I've never had, um, like, I've had kimchi multiple times, but it's never been from somebody who's actually from Japan. So. I don't know how spicy this is. Mm. But I will be making some ramen and putting this in it at some point. Maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. If I do, I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay. This stand was the best one that I went to. This guy. Best at advertising. I don't know if he took like an HR class or something, but... He was really good at selling shit, so he was giving out samples of everything and telling us where it came from and, and all 
bad jazz, so that was really cool. And I literally tried like a thousand things, so <laughs> he would not stop doing this stuff. Um, I got dried cranberries for my salads. Got some butter toffee cashews because I love cashews and why not? These are just pumpkin seeds, but they're called lady. Oh, sorry, they're roasted squash seeds. Um, they're called lady nails. I'll also put on my salad. Some liquid just came out of these. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Something must have spilled. I wonder if it's from like kimchi. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's spilled. Oh, it did spill. That's why I put it in a bag. I appreciate that. I almost said no to a bag. Mm -hmm. All of these were stuck together. This one he really sold me out. I don't even know that I like papaya, but I tried this and it was so good. And he said it's a natural um, healer instead of taking pills for acid reflux, which my doctor thinks I have. So, and if you know me, dried pineapple is like my favorite stuff. So, 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 so good. It's so good. I love it. Um, when I went through my last pregnancy, I mean, it was a pregnancy, but I had a miscarriage, but my cravings were dried fruit. <laughs> that was it. So. Well, no, that's Yeah. Anyways. That's everything in that bag. I got some. Oh, I got some Arizona sweet oranges. I only got two of them because I already have some oranges in my fridge, but I want like local ones. So oranges. They actually had samples of this and their syrup. Um, it's elderberry lemonade, and it's really good. It's just like sweetened with honey and elderberry syrup. Um, and I tried it and I really liked it and this was only eight dollars I think so I got a whole thing of it I'll probably water it down a little bit just because it's a little I have um I have a citric acid allergy so technically I'm not supposed to have this or like half of this stuff but it only makes my mouth pee so we'll deal with it but I'll water this down so it's not so bad I'm most excited for these. They're garlic dill pickles. I camped near a shooting range and I just heard it go off. It scared me a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try these. Maybe, if I can get them up. Oh I think this is probably one of the most expensive things I bought. Oh, they smell like my mom's. Dill pickles. I freaking love Sunday pickles. He had spicy ones too. But... Where'd my napkin go? There. Mm hmm. Oh, they're a little sweeter. Must be the kind of cucumber they use. That's really good. I do wish there was onion in this. I almost did buy the pickled onions too, but I was like, I definitely don't need that. Let me take it like that. I love the garlic in my mouth. It's on the It's actually really good. I like the garlic. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good. I'm gonna put this back in the I want to say it's all the food items, but I doubt it. Yeah, I lied. Oh, I forgot about these. They're probably all broken. 
I don't know what these are. They're Mexican. I think there's some Samoas. I don't want to say that and then be wrong and everyone would come at me for it. But. Mexican family. They were selling these in tortillas and I got both. Um, these are apple. They smell so good. I wish I had some vanilla ice cream. I'd probably have vanilla ice cream with these. <laughs> the tortillas in question. There's literally like six dollars for both of those things together so i also went to the honey lady because i love honey but i have no idea which flavor is which <laughs> there's seven here and they're three for a dollar so i got seven of them. i got all of them and it would have been more than two dollars but she just asked for two dollars because we were talking about my zelda tattoo and how her kids um like Zelda and her husband just pulled out their old um I don't remember which one but the old game console that they used to have one of the first ever original Zelda games so and it still works it looks pretty cool I know this one's root beer and then there's a watermelon one orange pineapple and then I don't know either so this would be a nice surprise I like cold honey. I almost bought some of the, the actual honey, but I don't really need honey for anything. And I think I actually brought some honey with me. I forgot I got this. I want to get this for Look at this for lunch tomorrow. This is, oh, there's no label on it. It's a Mediterranean Greek salad. It was at like a pita stand and they were doing like fresh pitas and everything. Sorry, my battery said it was dying. <laughs> uh, they were doing fresh pitas. They were doing fresh pitas um, right there, but yeah, this is a Mediterranean salad. I got kale chips, organic kale chips. They're ranch flavored. I actually want to try this. Mmm, those are good. If you don't think you like kale, try it fried or crispy, whatever. I don't know what this is. It's a Spanish cinnamon bun. That's why I didn't end up getting the other cinnamon bun. A blueberry collect. This guy was also very nice. Um, we were talking about how I work at a bakery and we make galettes too, but nothing like this. We got this. It got a little messy, but so pretty, so pretty. I'll have to message my coworker and tell her that he complimented us on it. We're gonna eat that with my lunch. So this pretty leather bookmark is like three dollars, I think. I had to get something that I would forever have and not eat, and it be gone. I swear I'm almost done. I think this is the olive oil. I wanted their um, garlic herb olive oil, but they were all out. This good greens and salt and pepper and great salad. This is so cute. This guy was super nice too. He gave me some olive oil that was mixed with lavender and rubbed it on my tattoo. It's like it looks so light right now. I was like, okay, whatever you say. It was really nice. He gave me some cards. And then, oh, she gave me a card too. Anyways, I got these earrings that are made out of a nut, I think is what she said. Yeah, it's a nut, the side of a nut. But they're really pretty. Another thing I wanted to get from that I could always have, so. Yeah. I don't really wear earrings very often, but I will. I guess I just don't have any that I particularly like favor over others. 
I have all. Huh. All right, that's everything. Um, I'm really excited. I probably spent. I want to say that I spent just a little over or a little under a hundred dollars, probably like eighty. On all of this, which isn't really that bad for everything that I got, and it'll last me a long time. So. I also got some other things, like I got tea, I took some shots, health shots, <laughs> not actual shots, that was really good, but for all of this, honestly, not bad. I had to go to my car, bring stuff to my car, come back, and get more stuff. I wanted strawberries, but the strawberry lady ended up leaving before I could get anything, so, but anyways, yeah, that's my farmer's market haul. Thank you so much for watching, and... I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.